Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars with my buddy Brandon and his 1950 uh, Chevrolet three window truck. Beautiful truck. I'm just gonna take it for a drive. Uh, it's still on the old foot pedal switch start. Sitting on a hill. Yeah. We're good up here. Strong little 216. Three speed on the column. Shifts nice through the gears. The speedometer's hooked up, but it's running a little slow. Probably about 10 miles, 15 miles an hour slow. The other gauges work? Yeah, all the other gauges work. trucks because they drive slower and you can buy the modernized one those are nice to go fast but it's nice just to have this old original you know uncut unmolested frame and all original steel body original engine and transmission just gives that kind of losing that losing the uh, feel for it uh, you know you start to lose the feel for that old school nostalgic vehicle when you do all those upgrades I'm just absolutely in love with this color absolutely beautiful engine runs fantastic and he was having a hard the reason he was having a hard time starting it is because he had his foot on the brake instead of the clutch nice engine detail inner fender wells are clean and rust free Firewall, rust free. Nice solid hood. Unmolested dash, all original. Everything's was taken out, repainted. Gauges redone. How about the horn? Oh, even the horn works. Look at that. That's awesome. Door panels look great. New weather stripping. New window cranks. New door handles. They're a little stiff because they've got brand new weather uh, you know, uh, rubbers and felts around them. They'll break in and get some warm sun on them and use them a few times. Nice clean new seat cover. Vinyl. Original style. Like I said earlier, new headliner. Is this all new glass, Brandon? No all new glass? The windshield and back glass is the side windows are original. Side windows are original, but they're in good shape. Doors open and close nice. New glass in the back. Beautiful wood bed. That's actually perch. 
perch. I like it. It's very nice. This is a great cheat too to, uh, it's plywood, right? Yeah. Yeah, to do plywood with the strips on top is a really easy, easy way to do your bed that looks really nice. And it's easy to change out. Door open and close on this side as well. Hinge pockets are in great shape. It's a really solid truck. Dash does open, it's just aggravating. Okay, so the glove box does open. How about the heater? Does it work? Heater works, windshield wipers. They do work, but they are original. They are the uh uh you know vacuum powered, so they're a little they're a little slow compared to, to electric ones, but they do work. Um old school bias supply tires, they've got some porta walls on there, and these porta walls are kind of wanting to get a little floppy. <laughs> So uh, nice original hubcaps here. Step sides are in great shape here. A little bit of body filler here in the back cab corner, which is pretty common. Floor pans look great. And this inner, inner um, cab corner is in actually pretty good shape right there. All the undercarriage here, these are the original floor pans, they look great. Really clean. Solid. Nice clean inner fender wells, rust free. It's original steel, looks great. New bumpers front and rear chrome bumpers and then the uh, grill is original they make a kit you can put a brand new chrome on there but this is the original grill so a couple little spots of pitting and stuff here a couple dents but still very presentable got a little dirt there just from driving on the farm but nice solid again here Go ahead and do these other really good. This is a really solid truck. I, I'm not sure that I can call it 100% rust free because I know there's a couple of little spots like I should, you know, here and there or even just like that cab corner with a little, just a little bit of Bondo in it. And that's very common. Um, so it, it never bothers me for a driver quality vehicle like this one. So I'm just happy to find one that's original. They're, they're getting harder to find. Most of them have upgrades that can be nice. V8s, automatics, all that stuff, but something like an original truck. Cab corner on this side. Got a spot of rust right there. Other than that, nice and solid. Floor pans on this side as well. Got a beautiful new paint job. It's not perfect. That's the, what I call a driver quality paint job. A couple little spots, you know, where it just wasn't 100% perfect. But again, for the money, you know, this isn't a, you know, these trucks are getting crazy now where this isn't, you know, the, a $50,000 truck. You know, half, a little, a little more than half that price. And uh, what a great, what a great value a couple little spots here it's got new chrome Oop, that's actually just a little new chrome chevrolet on the side a couple little spots like i said when you get up close to it but overall this is a very, very beautiful driver runs great um it's really ready to be enjoyed just like it is and uh i think you know you could always keep on tinkering with it maybe do something with the grill or put some newer white wall tires on it um, it's possible that maybe after driving it some and over time that those porta walls will lay down but uh sometimes they do and sometimes they don't so nice thing is summit racing has got the white walls in stock that deliver them right to your front door pretty affordable uh great upgrade but other than that this is a beautiful beautiful truck absolutely love this seafoam green this is an iconic to me the iconic classic chevrolet color that quite frankly i'm personally always looking for i you know i see guys with their red trucks and their black trucks and sometimes a yellow one but to me nothing grabs my eye more than this uh this old school you know seafoam so give us a call we're at peachtreeclassiccars.com we got a clean clear title on it and uh helping helping brandon sell it so give me a call we'd love to talk to you peachtreeclassiccars.com